Welcome to part two, a battle over the River Forth. If you haven't seen the first part, stop this video now and have a look in my library for part one. It's not to be missed. After the Luftwaffe had radioed back to Germany, they mistakenly thought that one of the ships in the Firth of Forth was HMS Hood. The Luftwaffe unit slightly damaged HMS Hood in the North Sea two weeks prior and thought this would be the perfect time to finish it. Not realising that HMS Hood was in fact off the west coast of Scotland, close to Stornoway. Knowing that this was the perfect opportunity to sink HMS Hood, 12 Junker bombers deployed from Germany, ready to carry out the first air attack on the British homeland in World War II. Flying at 23,000 feet in four waves of three, armed with two 500 kilogram bombs in each. The first wave intended to reach land at Berwick upon Tweed, however, ended up reaching land at Dunbar. The original plan was to fly south of Edinburgh and attack Rosyth from the west to give them an easy route back to Germany. However, due to the change, the commander decided to fly across East Lothian and straight up the 4th. Aircraft from 603 and 602 Squadron were deployed. An anti-aircraft battery at Dalmeny Park reported three aircraft flying about 10,000 feet. German air crew looking down onto the 4th could not locate HMS Hood. Thinking they spotted HMS Hood in dry dock, however, it was HMS Repulse. Remembering that Hitler gave instructions not to attack any ships that were in dock, they decided to aim for HMS Southampton that was moored in the 4th, releasing both bombs and flying off to the north. One bomb missed completely, however the second bomb penetrated three decks and exploded in the water after penetrating the hull. Remarkably, the damage was minor, and they only ended up having minor casualties. Travelling at the same time was a train going over the 4th railway bridge full of passengers witnessing the horror in front of them. Over the next few hours more raids happened. No British air crewman was killed that day. However, 16 sailors were killed and 44 injured. The German pilots that were killed were buried with full military honours in Portobello Cemetery. Lest we forget. 